Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I am here today at the IRCGN, the Central Ballistics Lab of the French Gendarmerie, taking a look at some of the really cool experimental French guns in their reference collection. And what we have today is an iterative development from the Moss model of 1948. This is a Moss model of 1949, but more oddly in 45 ACP. Now this whole developmental program uh, which existed across all three of the major French arsenals, Ma Mac, Mas, and Mat, uh, Toul, Saint-Étienne, and Châtellerault. This was a, a product in the post-World War II years to develop a new submachine gun in 9mm Parabellum to replace the Mas 38, which was in 7.65 French. The French during World War II realized that their 7.65 cartridge was it was basically obsolete. They wanted to kind of get onto the, the general European standard of 9mm Parabellum. It was, in fact, a more powerful, better cartridge. And so as soon as they were able to, they started a program to replace the Moss with a new submachine gun. Now, all three of the French arsenals proposed uh, designs, and Moss came up with a series of lever-delayed blowback submachine guns, which are really cool. Uh, this is what they ultimately came to. This is the Moss model of 1948. We recently did a video about this gun. Uh, which I will link at the end here. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it, because this is a really cool, neat, mechanically interesting submachine gun. But when I'm looking around in the collection here at the Gendarmerie, in addition to a bunch of different examples of variations of that 9mm Moss 48, they had this one in 45 and marked model 1949. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Let's start with a quick glance at the markings. They're all very helpfully marked on these guns. So it's a Moss model of 1949, caliber 11.3, that is the metric designation of 45 ACP, and this is serial number 3. So definitely a very limited production run. Now the Moss model 1948 that this gun is really a, a continuing development of, those, exam those guns were built in a variety of different configurations, and we see a number of the elements from them on here. So this has a collapsing wire stock. Most of the 48s that I've had a chance to look at had folding, side folding wooden stocks, but wire stocks were absolutely something that was experimented with. It of course has the folding magazine well, very common to French submachine guns at this time. You collapse the stock, fold the magazine well, and this gives you a very compact uh, submachine gun. I can press the button here, fold the magazine well down to use, and note that this has finger grooves and a very long magazine well that doubles as a front grip. You would see this uh, feature being used in the MAT-49, and we also saw it in one of our MAS-48s that we took a look at in that previous video. Um, the magazine release button is right here at the bottom. The magazine is uh, it's a custom built, well not custom built, but it is a, a unique magazine for these guns as far as I can tell. Um, interesting that they have basically copied the floor plate system from the MP40 magazine, which makes sense because the all of the earlier development by Moss used modified MP40 magazines, so if they're going to like scale up their magazine, um, that fits. So single stack, or uh, double stack, single feed. There is no manual safety on the gun, like no safety switch, because folding the magazine up essentially is your safety mechanism. When you do that, there's no way for a round to get into the chamber, and the gun can be carried without any problem at all um, with ammunition in it, but no risk of firing. We then also have um, a double trigger system, and that's something that they did experiment with a bit on other, other guns in the Moss 48 development series, but your front trigger is semi-auto, and you can hear the disconnector clicking there, and the rear trigger is full auto. Some of the French guns have full auto in the front, some have full auto in the back. It kind of varies from program to program. Now on the model 1948s, the takedown system is pretty cool. Uh, the grip assembly acts as, uh, also acts as the rear retention, so all I have to do is push in this little button, and I can pull out the rear grip frame. What they did on the 45 ACP version is, I think, really cool and clever. You can see this is the end cap, and it's got a big rivet on either side. Well, the way this one works is we extend the stock. This is the fully extended position. You can see how the stock is locked in these front holders. Then 
I push the button and I pull it just a little farther back. That's, that's as far back as the stock can extend. It's now free of these front retention tubes, and now, voila, it just folds up and opens the gun, and I can pull out the rear trigger frame of this guy. Note that this is made by Moss. They have clearly taken a lot of inspiration from the Moss 38, uh, which had a very similar style of grip frame that comes out self-contained with the fire control parts, all that. Now, unfortunately, the 45 caliber gun is missing its bolt and uh, bolt carrier and mainspring, so I can't actually show you those. Uh, however, I would encourage you to go back and watch my Moss 48 video, but if you don't want to, here's the quick and dirty version. We have a captive recoil spring in the top, and then we have a bolt and bolt carrier that are locked together, and this is a delaying lever. So uh, when it fires, the bolt is back like this. The, this two-part lever locks into the top of the receiver, and before it can cycle backward, it has to pull this. This lever essentially pushes the top mass backwards, like so, um, giving it enough delay time to have pressure drop and for it to open safely. So. Uh, this is obviously all the same mechanics. Unfortunately, we just don't have this part, or the spring, for the 45 ACP version. Normally, if I had a gun like this one that was missing major internal parts and didn't, and I didn't know anything really about, I would skip it until I could learn something more. In this case, I'm not sure when I might be able to get access to any records, if they still exist, from this trials program. And we do know the basic trials program that this gun came from, because the mechanism is clearly the same as the Moss 48s. What's really curious to me is the fact that they built one or several in 45 ACP, because there's not really any indication that the French seriously considered adopting 45 ACP. That said, by the end of World War II they did have a bunch of Thompsons. They'd had them pre-war, they got more as US uh, military assistance, and so perhaps there was, uh, you know, some of these either used as a control element in testing, or maybe there was a small element um, that was interested in trying to maybe actually adopt 45 ACP. Ultimately, of course, they didn't. They adopted the MAT-49 in 9mm and never looked back from it. But very cool to get a chance to take a look at a, a truly weird oddball submachine gun like this one. So a big thanks to the French Gendarmerie for giving me access to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.